Hello YouTube viewers once again. Welcome to the depression. This is the Discovery War channel. I want to thank you for your comments and contribution to make this channel a success. We have been on this series of how to design a free energy generator. And we have been discussing intensively on different ways you can design your free energy generator. In today's presentation, I'm going to explain another simple method in which you can use a car alternator to design or to produce a 2 kilowatts free energy generator. You see, a car alternator is one of the components that enable the car to produce light which you use every day in your driving. And when this alternator is being powered, it has able to rotate. I remember I've explained to you about fringing keys. I said the first thing you should know is that if you want to produce a free energy generator, you must have a system that can rotate the alternator. That is where we have the motor. And then the motor is the engine room as long as free energy generator is concerned. And I explain that if you have the capacity for you to turn your uh, generator, which is the alternator, with any other devices, with that with your bare hand, if you can able to do it with your bare hand, you will still have the same result. What is the essence of a generator is that you have a device that can rotate and produce light with the absence of wear or without the use of wear or gas. These systems are what make energy free. Now, in this video, in this system, you see two things in common. You have the uh, generator, which is this essence is to bring light. And you also have the car alternator. The car alternator here, in this case, now is set like an electric motor, which is helped to rotate and when you rotate, you see that the generator will not produce light. Now, if these two things are combined, you see that this light is being produced. The essence for this is for you to understand that the simple thing about free generator may necessarily be and you have a very big equipment mounted before you generate light. No, as long as you're able to have even as little as a, a little alternator and you're able to run it in a system that can run, or maybe use your bare hand to touch it, you still have light. The light is produced. It's light is the easiest thing to be produced in the world. But many people don't understand this. The light is the easiest thing to be produced. We have light through the water, we have light through the sun, we have light through the wind. So you can see that in the four, in the three my dimension of the earth, there is water, there is light. Because the first thing God created is what light, so that is easier to produce. So the essence now is for you to learn to know that even with little things put together, you can still produce light for your house. Now I have I have heard in some in some this year that they have a lot of high price of gas in Europe, and it is very necessary for you to have light now in your own way by producing because if you can pay very high in a CB, it means your income will be going low. So if you have opportunity to produce your own light, please don't hesitate. You have to go ahead and do it. So that's why this video is very important and it's very important to know. Now, the truth, another thing you also need to know, you have to have a bed. In this video, now you see a bed that crosses this situation. The bed, I've told you that it helps to join to to equipment that like will serve as a joint between the electric motor and the, the alternator. So if you have the good bed, that is one, the bed, your bed must be very firm. You should, your bed should, firm, be firm, should be firm enough because if the bed is not firm enough, it will not be able to rotate these two systems perfectly. So if your bed is well firm, the system can be able to rotate to get the light you want. As you want to you know, because some people make that mistake and they slide their bed and the bed will not be weak. And if it's weak, how will it get the light? Because it is the bed, and in this case now, you have two systems here. The, the bed now is the major connector between this system and the system. So you can see how this bed is well firm. So you should also make your bed be very 
very firm because it's very if it's firm you should be able to rotate the way you expect it now that's where you're going to see this place and then secondly you must also have a very good uh, generator I have seen people producing uh, uh, something they use a very old scrap uh, system generator for produce light and if you have you're using an old generator you may not have the good result because you know just like as you are aware if in a cell in a normal uh, long uh, frame generator you see that uh, uh, if you use a old generator you see that the generator become very uh, slow in rotating the speed will be very slow and to make a lot of noise in the same uh, way applicable to this kind of system if your generator is not new therefore just light production will also not be effective so i always advise people to go for a new system rather than using an old scrap to experiment things and maybe you complain it's not working it's not giving what you want go for what a new system go for a perfect working system that so do you help you to get what you want don't use the old scrap don't use the old zip if you have it is better for you to use a new system that has a little uh, capacity operation and going for a old scrap that you know that you cannot be able to give what you want so i always advise you go for a better system so that you have a better light as well so like this one you see it perfectly you see a very nice system like this you can able to have a good so is that on that now you have to talk about also the connector the connector now is where the light comes from the connector from where the light is produced and where the light comes from are very important because some some people make another mistake on area if your connector is not well properly configured you may have issue most of the problems some people have if they don't can produce light it's not basically that the same is not working, it's because they have not made a proper connection of their system. If your connector is not well properly connected, you may not have a proper operation. That is where some people see the have issue. And by so doing, they say, oh, I'm having a issue in this place, I you sure this is working. And what you have, you have seen many occasions, you see, even some of uh, some of the people who are producing their shin examples of what they have done. So you must have a proper connection. The system should be connected so that you can have a proper production. Like what you see, and the cable should wear link up to this one, and also the bed should wear firm, and the pulley also should be the one that can open the to wear. You see, as you can see, the dimension of the pulley is very, very well big enough to keep the bed inside. It does not make the bed to jump because sometimes you can see if the pulley is not well firm, it's not well big enough to hold the bed, the bed can jump. And when you are producing the better job out of the system and you feel frustrated so you must get these things properly done and by so doing you are going to have a better production system now let's take a look at one of these and we'll get from this what i'm talking about now as you can see the the mounting of the system that, that is the you know, is the motor of aging ac This is the car alternator. That is the applet. The man, the man, the motor. The, the system will produce a very good system. Then you see, can see you connect the bear. You see, the bear must be properly connected before, as the bear is connected and firm, you have screws. Because if the bear is not properly connected, you can't be able to screw if you want. You can see now, as the bear is well firm, the screws you have no result.
You see the continuation? You see the continuation is now? We attach the booster and also the and also the socket. Which is the paper. You can see the socket now. That's where the socket is linked up. The reason for looking at the socket is so that the voltage can, the, the fluid can flow. If you want to test it now, you can test it using the, the system. And test it time. Um, this system. You can see it. And this, this is a, you can see the equation now. You can see how the light is so bright. And so bright because this that booster that is connected now made the light be so bright as you can see as it, as you know it as it then as then power starts now you, you can see the voltage how how the simple system is you see how the voltage is produced as the generator is producing a, a very high voltage light which is very good for your, for your testing for your home, you can use it as this, this, like this, see, as this. That's it. That's it. See how simple it is. This design the system does not require much, much, much stress. Very simple and very practical. You can experiment this in your house using the car automator. You can experiment this very, very easy system to design. You don't need too much stress to design the system. All you just need to do is to have this configuration. You have the socket, you have the antenna booster, the motor, and the generator together, and you are done. And you don't require too much stress for you to produce the same. It's a simple system that can produce even in your house. And you get into energy is really it's very easy to do. It's a very one of the easiest uh, system you can design in your house. Just buy your generator, buy a motor, connect together, you have the result you want. And there's nothing magic about this system, there's nothing magic about the energy. All you just need to do is for you to follow the step as easy as you can see. It's still running, everything is still running. The, the current the voltage is rotating. The voltage is still giving itself as a plug. This is the voltage come out. It's a simple system as a plug. The voltage come out. There's a, there's a circulation between the, the, the system, between the two of the circulation limit and so So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also share this video to your friends and also your loved one. And whatever you are, it's a problem, whatever issue you have. Feel free to give your comments there, give your feedback for the time I will respond to it. Thank you for watching. See you later.